A phenomenal field of Bearfield Speedway open wheel modifieds. Set to go, 30 laps. 23 strong here at Fort Wayne's Bearfield Speedway. Starting grid looking like this. Herb Johnson Sr., your pole sitter in the 10. To his outside, the 80 car, Ralph Baxter the third. Row two, Modoc, Indiana's car number 09 of Don Skaggs. The two car, Brent Martin, will go from the outside. Row three, Pete Wormcastle in the nine, and last week's feature winner, Mike Mays, in the 72. Travis Stepp in the 88, and his outside, the 34 car, Mel Klein. Row number five, the 37 car of Steve Minnick Jr. and the 111 of George Perkins. Russ Miller, 19, Scott Coe, 28, John Gatton Jr., 89, Jeremy Wallen, 70, Herb Johnson Jr., 20, Chris Jennings, 6, Joe Jennings, 8, Robert Steve Schlater Jr., 07, Jerry Hammond, 17, Mike Murphy, 22, Mike Miller, 65, Mike Bufink, 85, Tim Miller, 85T, set to go. 30 laps with the open wheel modifieds at Bearfield Speedway. Johnson and Baxter will bring them to green through corners number three and four, and here we go. Loud and woolly on the initial start. The field goes down into corner number one. On the break, Herb Johnson Sr., your race leader, but here comes Don Skaggs down to the inside. Don Skaggs into the race lead. Skaggs, your leader. Johnson, Martin, and Baxter, your front four. Battle ready for fifth. Mike Mays and Pete Wormcastle, they battle there. Herb Johnson Sr. jumps the banking a little bit down the back straightaway. He'll stay on the racetrack. Still side by side for fifth. Castle getting past Johnson Sr. Mike May is going to get past as well. Don Skagg still out in front. Mel Klein, Jeremy Wallen, Scott Coe, and Russ Miller doing battle here around mid pack. Steve Menick Jr. has been the man to beat this year in that number 37 machine. He was your point leader. Herb Johnson Sr. bottleneck in the field again. He takes his car to the back of the pack. The yellow flag going to come out. One car goes off the top of the racetrack. It appeared to be one of the Miller Bufink cars. Also problems down here on the infield for car number six. That's Chris Jennings out of Richmond, Indiana. Yellow flag going to come out. They come through corners number three and four. Single file restart, and here we go with the modifieds once again. Brent Martin in the two car battling Don Skaggs for the race lead. Manic in 37 looks to the outside of last year's second place USA Modified Series point man, Travis Stapp. Ross Miller won him out of challenge. He'll walk to the inside of Manic. Smoke out of the back of the number nine machine of Pete Wormcastle. Smoke out of the back of the Whitmore Racing number nine machine. Problems for that race car is it's top side. in 72 trying to get past the smoking worm castle. Menick in 37 step back there. John Ganton Jr. battling with Russ Miller.
three wide for a second. Perkins has to drop back. And Gatton in the 89. Outside of Russ Miller. Gatton and Miller still battling. Battle up front, Brent Martin in the two machine. Look into the inside of Don Skaggs. Martin in that bootlegger saloon and galley. Car number two to the inside. Brent Martin, your new race leader. Brent Martin takes the leader out, Skaggs. Baxter still sits third. Mike Mays, the 72 machine, sitting in fourth. Black flag shown to the nine machine. Pete Wormcastle, he'll take that car to the pits. Battle still back around eighth. Gatton and Ann Perkins, they still go wheel to wheel. During the 80, fighting Mike Mays. Mays in the 72 machine, trying to work his way into the top three. Field shown halfway that time by 15 and 15 to go. Baxter in the 80, still battling with Mays. Martin, your leader. Perkins and Gatton still battling back here. Steve Menick Jr. in the 37 has caught the lead pack. Menick fifth to the inside of Baxter. Menick goes for the number four spot. Brent Martin have to get around the slower vehicle. Mike Miller. John Gatton Jr. battling right now with Ralph Baxter the third. is caught, Skaggs. Mays trying to work his way into the number two position. Currently sits in third. Whoa, big problems. One car off the top of the racetrack. 80 car, Ralph Baxter the third. All right, something broke on the right front of that machine. He goes off the top of the racetrack and corner number three, yellow flag out. Field for him to back up and ready to go. Brent Martin, the two. Don Skaggs, the zero nine. Brent, Brent Martin getting set to bring him down. Martin, Skaggs, Mays, Minnick, and Step, the top five. Green flag back in the air to settle the modifieds at Bearfield Speedway. Steve Menick Jr. to the inside of Mike Mays for the number three spot. Menick and Mays still side by side. Menick gonna get the spot going down to the corner number one. Step now to the inside of Mike Mays. John Gatton Jr. in the 89 is caught the top five. Oh, Mays gets into the bag. Oh, step now. Step into the bag of the 72 machine of Mike Mays. Mays loops it around. Yellow flag gonna come out. Top break for the number 72 machine, Mike Mays. Last week's feature winner gets spun around and 
Yellow flag gonna come out. One to go signal shown to the field here in the modified set to resume green flag racing. Brent Martin, Don Skagg, Steve Minnick Jr., Travis Stepp, and John Gatton Jr., your top five. Field comes through corners three and four, back to green flag racing. Russ Miller and Jeremy Wallen get together going down into corner number one. A little bit of a dicey move for the 19 of Miller, but nonetheless, we stay green. Gatton now to the outside of Travis Stepp. Gatton clears Stepp around the outside. Battle for second, Steve Medic Jr. to the inside of Don Skaggs. Menix up to the runner-up spot. Oh, Skaggs gets into the back of Menix for a second. Gatton takes a look to the outside of Don Skaggs. Skaggs throws a block now. He's going to let Gatton go to the outside. Gatton around the outside. Gatton now into the top three. Gatton not quite cleared him yet, trying to do so down the back stretch. Now Gatton's going to get the spot. Gatton to third. Battle for the lead. Menick has caught Martin. Steve Menick Jr., current modified points leader at Fairfield Speedway, all over the back buffer of Brent Martin. Yeah, and third, having all kinds of fits, can't quite shake Skaggs. Now Skaggs gonna have to deal with Scott Coe in the 28. Couple of cars around mid-pack, getting bobbled up, Perkins, Miller, and Step. Two to go in the air. New leader, Steve Menick Jr. Medic to the race lead, Brant Martin. Oh, caution. Caution flag on the field as Scott Coe in the 28 goes around. Yellow flag gonna come out with less than two laps to go. Just prior to the caution, Steve Minnick Jr. shooting past Brent Martin in the two. John Gatton Jr. with a great drive has worked his way to third. Final two laps. Here we go. Final feature of the night at Fairfield Speedway. Martin into the back of the 37. That's not enough quite to move him. That's going to let Gatton make a move to the outside. It's going to let Menick pull away, though. Final lap, white flag in the air this time by. The battle goes on for a second between Martin Gatton and Wallen, but final time through corners number three and four. Add another win this year in the Modifieds for Steve Menick, Jr. Martin. Gatton, Wallen, and Russ Miller will round out the top five. A thrilling finish tonight in the open wheel modifieds at Bearfield Speedway as Steve Minnick Jr. takes the win tonight, adding to his points lead this year at Bearfield Speedway in the open wheel modifieds.